What's up, Betting Edge Wizards? Want to wish you and yours a very happy holidays. And the holidays have come early here on NFL 3 for free. The last four picks, 4-0, four no, all underdogs, all straight-up winners. Got to love that. Week 16 is going to prove to be a very, very pivotal and exciting one in the NFL. Let's get right into the picks. Vikings, Redskins. All right, the in-spin simulator made the spread of this game, the Redskins minus three. There is a lot of value betting the Vikings at plus seven and a half, minus 120 or better. This is listed right now on inspin.com as a two-star free pick. The Vikes have lost six straight games and fell to two and 12 in the season. They're in the Andrew Luck sweepstakes. Quarterback Christian Ponder, the question, has regressed over the past few weeks and has shown no signs of real improvement. Sounds like a recipe for a loss, huh? Wrong. The Minnesota Vikings have the fourth-ranked rushing offense in the entire NFL. And you Adrian Peterson, that's what's going to happen. They average 5.2 yards in attempt and 142.7 yards per game. Who is the person leading the attack? In case you forgot, it's AP. In his first game back last week versus the Saints, he rushed for 60 yards on 10 carries. Expect him to be much more involved in the offense this week versus the Redskins. The Vikes have one of the best running backs in the entire NFL. He's healthier now than he has ever been over the past few weeks, and this team is not ready to lie down. At 2-12, and 12, they have the potential to be the worst team in Vikings history. However, they have no intentions of allowing this to happen. Here's a quote from linebacker Aaron Henderson. The Vikings have been around for 51 years now. You don't want to be the worst team that's come through this locker room. Let's take a look at the odds now at wagerweb.com. They have a line listed at Redskins minus 6.5. However, 81% of the betting action has been on the favorite. So wait until this game goes up to minus seven or better. Also, if you open an account with them this week and mention InSpin or Dan the Man, they will honor your first free bet on the Vikings plus seven and a half, minus 120. That is a full free point key number on your first bet. You gotta love that. Expect the Vikings to come out strong and hard versus a Redskins team, basking in the sunlight of last week's big division win against the G-Men. Quarterback Sexy Rexy has been horrendous this season but continues to get the starting nod. No starting quarterback with a 13 TD to 18 interception ratio on the season should be a 6.5 point favorite. Bet the Vikings plus 7.5 minus 120 and big it this weekend at FedEx Field. Packages on time. Niners Seahawks. The hit spin similar to the points for this game. Frisco at a pick. That means there's a lot of value betting on the Seahawks at plus 3.5, minus 130 or better. This is listed right now on the Instagram.com website as a two-star free play. The 49ers are on a short week and are riding high after that huge win over the Steelers on Monday Night Football. You know, the Ghostbusters kept knocking the power out. They will have little time to repair, which is not good for any team heading into Quest Field, the loudest stadium in the NFL. Why is Quest Field so loud and tough for visiting QBs? Is it because the fans are all ended up on $15 Starbucks? No, it's the design of the stadium. The overhangs keep the noise in, and it made the 12th man famous in Seattle. They even raised a flag for him. Last season in Week 1, the 49ers lost 31-6 to at Seattle. Quarterback Alex Smith had one of the worst performances of his career. He completed 26-45 passes with two picks for a quarterback passer rating of 52.5. At 7-7, seven and seven, the Seahawks are fighting for a playoff spot. So don't expect things to be any easier. The crowd will be inspired and loud, and the Seattle defense will feed off their excitement. The defense is currently ranked eighth in the NFL, allowing 327 yards a game, which is not good news for a Niners team, which has struggled to score over the past weeks. Take a look at the odds now at wagerweb.com. Also, if you open an account with them this week and mention InSpin or Dan the Man, they will honor your first free bet on the Seahawks at plus 3.5, minus 130 or better. That is a full free point key number on your first bet. you got to love that. Falcons, Saints. The hit spin simulator made the spread of this game, the Saints minus three. There's a lot of value betting the Falcons at plus seven and a half, minus 120 or better. It's listed right now on the inspin.com website as a two-stop free play. Now listen, there are huge, I said huge, playoff implications in this game, and the bookmakers have not properly credited the value of the Falcons. Here is the scenario. What's, what's, what's the scenario? I love Shark Go Quest. New Orleans locked up a playoff spot last week with their 42-20 route over the Vikings. A win this week would lock up the division and earn them a first-round bye. That's huge, as we know, in the NFL postseason. The Falcons are on the proverbial playoff bubble. A win this week would secure at least a wild-card spot. 
If they win out and the Saints lose versus the Panthers next week, the Falcons take the division and the first round bye. However, a loss this week would put their hopes of even making the playoffs in serious jeopardy. What's the bottom line? The Saints want to win, but the Falcons need to win. Does this mean they will win the game and you should take the money line? Of course not. But it helps justify taking the 7.5 minus 120. Handicappers look for what we call spots. And they're not things that you see all over the place in little colors. But that's where the intangibles in these games are not factored into the odds. The NFL schedule makers did the Falcons a huge favor this season. It has been 11 days since the Falcons beat the Jaguars, 41-14 on Thursday night. The extended time is equivalent to a bye week. Falcons use this time to rest physically and prepare mentally. Here's a quote from center Ted McClure. The rest was definitely appreciated, and I think it will show up on Monday. Take a look at the line now at wagerweb.com. They have a spread on this game as the Saints minus 6.5. Don't forget, open an account with them this week. Mention Hitspin.com or Dan the Man. And they want on your first bet at Falcons plus 7.5. Minus 120. That's a free key number point on your first bet. Expect the Falcons to be rested, prepared, heading into this game. They are healthier at this point than they have been all season long and at the best time. The implications are huge, and they will fight till the end to guarantee themselves a playoff spot. Bet Atlanta, plus 7.5, minus 120, and bank it this Monday night at the Superdome. There you go. Three picks, three winners. Bikes plus 7.5. Seahawks plus 3.5. Falcons plus 7F on Monday night. You got to believe in the holiday dream. You got to believe in the wizardry. For the betting edge, I'm Dan the Man. Until next time, believe in the dream. And don't forget to sign up for Insider Now. Get all the two-star free plays all season long. No charge whatsoever.